Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know one thing I try to do is to keep you updated with what's going on in the industry, what are the developments that are happening, especially from an AI perspective, and what it means for your cybersecurity career over the next two, three, uh, five years. And today's topic, very importantly, I want to talk about how agentic AI is changing the way we look at cybersecurity tools. You know, since like if you are new to the channel i've been in cyber security for the past 20 years and you know there's always been like people using cyber security tools to do stuff and this is how agentic ai is changing the game completely and this is not my subjective opinion i want to show you certain developments within the industry which are really changing the way we look at cyber security tools so what used to happen what used to happen that's Cybersecurity vendors used to give us tooling, and we used to use this tooling, like uh, to do certain cybersecurity, uh, like things like like SAS scanning, vulnerability penetration testing. All of it was tooling, right? And the central assumption was that human beings would be the ones using this, right? Human beings would be the one writing detection tools, triggering vulnerability assessment, investigations, penetration testing, correlation. All of these things were being done by human beings. You had automation without any doubt, but still. It was human beings who were the final authority, as they say, for these sort of aspects. Now, what is happening? Now, if you are not familiar with me, I've been in cybersecurity for the past 20 years, right? And I'm currently working in AWS as a senior security consultant. And we just had reInvent, which if you're not familiar, it's the biggest event of the year. AWS, it's like a massive, massive thing, which always happens. And... AWS announces how the new services which they are like introducing to the agency and the whole industry always has a keen eye on it and very excitingly what they announced this year was a new type of frontier agents autonomous agents capable of doing things like code reviews design reviews architecture analysis penetration testing law correlation all of it without human involvement so this is not just another co-pilot or another chatbot with Jenny I running in the background. This is like a security engineer as a software. And this is changing everything. And I'll show you how this changes everything. Because a lot of time people come to me and they say, you are exaggerating, this won't happen. You can literally go on Google right now and check this out, AWS security agent throughout the development cycle. What's it doing? Design security reviews, code security reviews, penetration testing. It can analyze product specifications, architecture documents, technical designs for security risk during the planning phase, okay? And then it can actually check it during the, like the coding phase. And then actually when it's running in the penetration phase, all of these services packaged into one agent. You can see here, you can set up penetration testing uh, configurations here and set it up for penetration testing ones and take a look at the findings which are there, right? And not just this, even another thing which has been announced and I just, uh, let me just go here. Yeah, there, uh, investigations for security if you're not familiar aws also has certain security incident response services so they are introducing ai agents within there also so where uh, ai agents will be actually doing a lot of the heavy lifting correlation log analysis all of this they, they, it will be injected within incident response and if you're thinking hey this is just aws you know you're working in aws that's why you're thinking like this no I hate to tell you this, this is where the industry is going uh, across the board. This is how, like the, across the board, this is there. If you can take a look at CrowdStrike, they have also expanded into this. So not just security, like L1 security analysts, they also look, taking a look at how, like the knowledge, trained on the knowledge of security analysts, how they are like introducing a new type of agents. You can check this out also. So this is just showing you where the industry is going. So now I don't want you to panic. I don't want you to think, oh my God, my job is going to go away. No, but you need to understand how the industry is changing because this is the only way you'll be able to adapt. So what is changing? This is how tools used to work in cybersecurity, right? You had cybersecurity analysts, like a team of your cybersecurity team. They are looking at the SIEM, they're looking at the SAS, DAS, they're looking at the scanner, they're looking at the penetration tester, vulnerability assessment, whatever, whatever tools you want to think of, DLP, all of them, they were looking at tools, but now, what the future looks like is your security analyst is looking at the security agent. He talks to a security agent and through APIs, it's looking at the SIM, the SAS, DAS, the scanner. And this is where the future is going, where you have agents acting as a layer between you and the tools. You can still access the tools, but as agents become more and more intelligent, a lot of the security grunt work will be offloaded onto these agents. And this is what AWS has just done. It is showing where the industry is going, CrowdStrike, AWS, that more and more you will be talking at the agentic layer. It is the agentic layer you will be talking to, and they will be the one talking to these tools. 
and so this is where the security risk will also be residing at so so now how this changes everything so how agentic ai changes cyber security tooling what am i talking about here that tools expect humans to orchestrate workflows right agents will do it themselves tools are static agents will adapt dynamically tools give alerts agents will give actions right tools are focusing on in individual checks agents can talk to multiple uh, like tools at the same time correlate them and get the full context tools are expensive to scale anybody who has dealt with the licensing nightmare of a lot of tools you know how <laughs> crazy they are agents can scale horizontally so this is just to show you how disruptive agents are to the whole concept of cyber security tools with things like model context protocol allowing agents to talk to different tooling and as agents are upscaling very very rapidly so what do you need to do now i don't want you to panic and think oh my god my job is going no but you need to upskill yourself i'm not talking about certifications i'm talking about skills the skills that you need to know you need to be able to think about ai supervision which is uh thinking about how to monitor agents how to make sure that agents are being used responsibility agentic ai security threat modeling and threat modeling specifically agentic ai cloud native architecture because these agents are running on the cloud only identity governance every single agent needs an identity to run and this is where a lot of the attacks will happen interpreting agent output how do you know the agent made a right decision are you able to go to the log and take a look at it designing guardrails where human beings are needed and where human beings are not needed so these are the skill set that will thrive in the future as agents take over cyber security tools what are the skill sets that are going to die well manual penetration testing now i don't mean penetration testing across the board red teaming of ai and all that that will be red hot but if you are by penetration testing you are just pointing a scanner at an ip address and you're getting a scan report and then you're looking at it a lot of that thing will get offloaded writing detection rules you know for your sim manual law correlation there are still people who do that manual code review static compliance checking you know checklist based checking a checklist based anything which is like monotonous and you are literally downloading stuff and sending it for emails and if you launching a ticket in jira or service now all of those things are at danger of being replaced by uh, agentic ai so this is very very important for you to uh, understand so what will happen is agentic ai is going to break a lot of the today's cyber security tools and that's not a prediction so if you're thinking this is just my personal subjective opinion i've just shown it to you with where aws is going now the question is simple are you going to be adapting to this new reality where you learn how to supervise these agents are you going to be competing against people who do so imagine a guy comes in he knows about all this skill set right what agentic ai is how to supervise it and you are still stuck in that like it's 2019 or 2017 where you're talking to tools and you're just looking at these tools and despite the fact that an agent is coming which can potentially replace you so that's why it's so important to upskill yourself think about things like threat modeling uh, agentic ai security and all those sort of things which will be very very hot in the coming days and if you are still confused i have a i have an like i've launched my own academy where i teach the skills i do not teach any certification so please there are million other courses for that i'm talking about skills like threat modeling agentic ai uh, grc engineering uh vibe coding all those sort of things which are going to be skill based and very very in demand in the future check those out this is what i wanted to show you i hope you got some like value from this and you're seeing where the industry is going the future is agentic in cyber security whether you like it or not and it's up to you completely how you embrace this aws has just demonstrated it now it's up to you what you want to do in the future thank you very much i hope this video was useful to you and i will see you in the next video please do like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much